We can all learn something and we can all be young at heart. Hello, Josh. Hello, Josh. What, what, are, what are we learning today? Well, I, I, I'm glad you asked, Pump. Um, uh, in, in, in fact, there's a lot of things we can all learn. And uh, you can learn, I can learn, um, but I won't be. Sounds good. Painting. So the first thing we do, sometimes, unless it's not the first thing, is to... So the first thing you need is paint, and we're going to show you how to get it on your thumb. Use a separate brush for this. I've tried using my own brushes or whatever. It's, you don't want to do that. Basically, you really don't want to get paint up into oh, the stem. Right, right, right. Because if you get paint up into the stem, it'll harden and it can splay your brush. So you want your tip small and tight so you can tip, tip, tip. So you want to load moisture up in here to keep your tip hydrated, but you really don't want paint paint past okay. like the first you really just want it on the first like 50 percent right of it so this is your so, your mixing brush yeah this is uh, my mixing brush so sometimes you use water sometimes i use um thinner uh, the best consistency would be like um sort of melted ice cream do not leave your brushes in the water like this that's, I don't care about this brush because they're so it yeah it deserves to be dumped like that because they're so it yeah it, so find a model that deserves a fancy color like this but this looks like a saucy lass she looks like a real you know what actually dark it really contrasts quite well oh I missed a step there how did you get the paint on your brush and that's kind of the long and short of painting. Painted my figure partially, so now I'm just gonna add more colors. So you've painted your base coat. Whoop de do. Show me how to mix some colors, Josh. Well, uh, you know, you might want to leave a little bit in there, you know, in case you mess up and you need to go back over. You might want to leave a little in there. So we're not gonna take all of it. We're just gonna take some of it, you know, in case you mess up. We're gonna put some of it over here. You might want to leave a little in there, you know. In case you mess up, maybe some more. So we're not gonna take all of it. We're just gonna take some of it. I don't know. You're the expert. You know, in case you mess up. I don't know. 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 That's the smallest thing you ever said in your life. Give me a kiss. Another one. Another one. Another one. All these zombies here. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Where are my manners? This is the one Thomas did. And I did uh did, did her brother there. She got white shoes. Here we go. The Patriot. Here's our Patriot. Because I got the red, white, and blue. But anyways, yeah, that's that's where that is. If I wanted to start getting ahead on on the ca characters, I did uh did this dwarf first. Mouse. Here we go. They had this nice thing where here's your card on the back. They just have the character art. So I did basically what I decided to do is pretty much stick to the art and the colors on the art because I like things to match. I did do some slight differences. I detected a slight purpleness to the black in his schmock. So I made that basically a purpley thing. Um, his straps are black leather. I kind of made them more of a normal brown leather. His hammer is in the original, it, it was pretty small. So I put green stuff on it to make his hammer bigger. It just looked really small to me. I primed it while the green stuff had not completely cured and then it expanded and got marshmallowy. So I had put paint on green stuff that had not cured 
before, but uh, there's something about, I guess, the aerosol or something in the spray paint that is different from just this acrylic paint that made it get all fluffy. So I kind of had to reshape it and it's not really the perfect shape anymore, but I didn't really care that much and I was just happy to learn the lesson. We got uh, Silas here. So this is the only character I actually um, documented my process in. So I have this all in the paint rack, uh, rack app as there are quite a few colors all over the characters. But this was interesting because this was the first character I did that was just really quite colorful. Um, so it was, it was kind of fun to do if, if, if a little colorful. And we'll insert a word that sounds good. Something I should say that I, I really kind of enjoyed about this was you can see, and let me maybe bring some of the Imperial Assaults, like contrast and having high contrast. Like, I'm not really like a big, like high contrast guy. So this, this level of contrast looked just fine to me painting them. I didn't mind it. Um, but I think this is more typical and given the kind of cartoonishy fantasy theme, I really push the contrast more. We can contrast the contrast um, I tried to do a little thing with the sword because I did added some blue on this sword to make it look elvishy and magical, and I like that. I was trying to kind of give it like, oh, like it's superheated by magic. I guess if I wanted to do that effect, I should have literally like sculpted flames out of green stuff and painted it. But Anne was interesting. I detected a purple black, so I really used a dark gray and used a purple shade and then just shaded it up to a, to a lighter gray. And I was just kind of really happy with the effect that that habit has. This lady's face though was crazy the way it was sculpted. It was really, I really tried to get that effect. So it, it took me a while cause I don't know, compared to the Imperial Salt miniatures, which is the only other miniatures I've painted this far, the eyes are a lot smaller for these. It's literally just the iris color. And then Nelly here, I have her um, get base coated, washed, and I have started the layering. So I've just layered the skirt and uh, the hair. She does have freckles in the art. That will be interesting. No one ever won an award for not painting freckles. I, um, while working on these miniatures, I watched Terminator Genesis. It's a really bad film. It's just a really, it's just a really bad film. <laughs>